Hello and welcome to this latest episode of Unleashing Brilliance. It's wonderful to have you here. Today, I want to talk about whether you are operating day to day on autopilot or are you actually purposefully building the business and life of your dreams? I talk a lot about building a business and a life by design. But let's just kick things off with revisiting or by revisiting a childhood favorite of mine, The Wizard of Oz, and that lovable cowardly lion. Remember the story where the lion, the scarecrow, the tin man, and Dorothy all set off to find the infamous Wizard of Oz who is going to change their world and follow through on everything that they dream of. And the cowardly lion that stick him up, you know, his journey was one of trying to unleash more courage. And I think this courage piece actually mirrors our own quest for authenticity, our own personal yellow brick road leading to the courage within. And if you remember, the Wizard of Oz at the time said to the cowardly lion, he said, courage isn't the absence of fear, but it's actually acting with wisdom. And when I reflect on my own corporate journey, it really has been a roller coaster of highs and pitfalls. There was a time where I found myself on autopilot. I was unintentionally conforming to the patterns of how business was being done around me or of how leadership was being done or of how business was being won. I behaved in a way I was expected to behave. I launched my business in the way I thought I should I ran my business in the way others told me to. And I kept telling myself, I should do this. I should do that. I was on this autopilot day to day of building the business that I thought I was building. And what I've noticed is that if we're not careful, so many of us do this. It's easy to fall into the trap of following a one size fits all approach or striving to project an insta perfect version of ourselves. You know, if we're not careful, we unintentionally go into autopilot because we're adapting to others' expectations of us. We build our businesses on a cookie cutter style approach that we are being taught, or we unconsciously start looking like everyone else because suddenly we're trying to replicate, keep up with, do the same as that successful person over there that that happens to be doing it in this way. But true courage, the true journey on your own yellow brick road to success, to purposefully building the business and life of your dreams, comes from embracing the unfiltered, beautifully flawed you. It's time to ditch those hats of shoulds, those supposed to be's, because this journey isn't about being unrealistic. There is no perfect It's about assuming the best in others. It's about fostering connections that actually matter. And when you look at those that are successful, whether they be, you know, rock stars or film stars, they are real. They are them. And this is even more obvious when we look at amazing leaders that inspire us to become more than we can possibly become ourselves. These are the the leaders and the businesses that inspire us to play bigger, to step forward. Now, speaking from the heart, I've absolutely lived this, of letting go of that mask of pretense, of perfection, and owning my journey. What it's done for me is it's brought profound connections, and it really was in those, and has been and continues to be in those genuine moments, that doors, unexpected doors swing open, that opportunities appear out of nowhere, where relationships deepen and where where growth becomes exponential. You know, even when I think about my speaking career, you know, when I started off and I'd done my learn how to be a keynote speaker course and I'd learned my structure and I was following that rule book of how to stand on stage and how to present on stage and everything was perfect. I was a beautiful, perfectly polished version of me. But I only became an amplified version of me when I stepped into the real me. And I can still remember this moment of being booked to speak on stage to a room of 3,000 incredible entrepreneurs. 
I'd had to send in my slide deck maybe two weeks before. And I remember waking up that morning and saying to Jason, my husband, I, I need to change my content. And he went, you can't do it, Janine. You sent your slides off. And I'm like, no, 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 that's okay. The slides can stay the same. I'm going to change my delivery, my content around that. And he went, okay, good luck with that. And I remember turning up backstage at this huge event and there were hundreds of screens there. I could see my slides. And I remember walking out onto stage, standing under this spotlight, seeing these thousands of faces in front of me. And I remember delivering a, a presentation for 45 minutes, a keynote for 45 minutes, and I remember the end result. What I don't remember is what I delivered in that moment because I decided to replace the usual case studies with my own stories. I decided to be vulnerable. I decided to share the truth about my journey, the vulnerability that I'd felt, the fear that I'd felt. And at the end of that keynote, you know what happened? Those 3,000 people in that audience stood up and gave me the longest, most insane, I could feel the love, standing ovation. Didn't stop there. I was chased out of the arena. I couldn't leave the building and I had to be ushered into my car. And the messages of thanks, of, of impact that I'd had on people that followed that keynote were insane. What I learned that day was that stepping into purposefully building the business of my dreams, being vulnerable, that was my superpower. Because what it did, sharing my story, sharing the unfiltered me, the real me versus the autopilot, perfect version, Instagrammable, perfected version of myself, as opposed to that and being real me, that created a powerful ripple in the audience. And yeah, it was scary. And although it was scary at first, you know, I wanted, the reason I'm sharing that, I want to show you that it can be done no matter how many people you're speaking to. So let's dive a little deeper into embracing your brilliance because it is about stepping into your spotlight and celebrating every shade of yourself. When we allow ourselves to be vulnerable, doors swing open, relationships deepen, and growth becomes this unstoppable force. It's a ripple effect that echoes every single aspect of our lives. And it's about acknowledging that courage isn't about being fearless. It's about being wise and genuine and beautiful you. Furthermore, embracing your authenticity, it's a powerful tool of navigating uncertainty. And in this world that's filled with constant change, being true to yourself becomes your anchor. It becomes your guiding light through the storm. The most successful leaders are those who embrace uncertainty with authenticity. Now, you might be asking yourself, yeah, I get this, Janine, but how does this apply to business? It applies to every single aspect of our business. There is research out there right now. There's a, an annual research that looks into, it's the Elderman Trust Report, and it looks into the levels of trust out there. Now, here's the thing. Consecutively, year after year after year, the levels of trust in nonprofits, in profit organizations, in brands, in the media, in government has been on the decline. Our clients do not trust businesses, brands, governments, the media. You don't trust. But here's the interesting thing, the expectation that CEOs, that business owners can be trustworthy, can be trusted, the need from clients to trust you, that measure has gone up. This is where you've got to purposefully, truthfully build your business and build your business by design. I want you to ask yourself, where are there areas in your business where currently you might be running on autopilot that actually that real you isn't coming through? And I want you to think about where you can infuse more of your authentic self into your organization right now, because that is the powerful tool. That is the memorable thing. In this uncertain world that so many of us are navigating, where there is that constant change, becoming true to yourself, 
that is the very thing that other people start noticing and it's the very thing that other people want to be part of. It reminds me of a story of a business called Extended Stay America, who back in the 80s, that business was on the brink of bankruptcy. Cash was key. People were scared about losing their jobs. And it was really tough. And a new CEO came in to lead that business, a guy called Jim Donald. He was a former executive at Starbucks, and he'd been brought across to turn this business around. And Jim Donald did like every awesome CEO should do. He walked the floor. He had various meetings with key people throughout the entire organization so that he could try and formulate the strategy to move the business forward. And the story goes that he ended up calling an all-hands meeting. He essentially brought his 7,000 employees together and he said to his employees, you know what? I'm not exactly sure how we're going to get through this, but I believe in you and I trust you. And here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you a get out of jail for free card because I believe in you. I believe that you've got the ideas. I believe that you know what we need to do as an organization moving forward. I trust you to make the right decision. What Jim did on that day is he handed out 7,000 get out of jail for free cards. And he gave permission to his team to bring to life their ideas, their suggestions. He unleashed possibility within his organization. He trusted them. He handed them a get out of jail for free card and essentially said, go out there, do what you believe needs to be done. No questions asked. Hand this card, this get out of jail card in. The stories of individuals taking the initiative, courageously doing something different are endless. You know, there's a, an amazing story of, of somebody on the east coast of the U.S., there was a film crew coming in and she decided she, out of her own bag, pulled together a proposal that essentially secured the amount of accommodation in that business versus going through the rigmarole of getting approved through head office. And these stories of these little moments of authenticity, these little moments of courage that came together and turned that business around. When I think about purposefully building your business. When I think about the courage of walking your own version of your yellow brick road, I think about Jim Donald because that's scary, right? That's scary to step up and go, I'm not quite sure I need your help. And that's what I'm talking about. And here's your challenge, right? I want you to think about what would you do differently to move from autopilot to instead of running your business on autopilot, purposefully building the business of your dreams, what would you do? What is that one courageous step that is about you purposefully building your business, that's about you purposefully stepping towards your goals versus running on autopilot? What is the one thing that you would do tomorrow if I gave you a get out of jail card for you? What would you do differently in your business right now? What would you stop doing and what would you start doing so that you are not necessarily building this business on autopilot or according to someone else's rule book, but instead you're purposefully building the business of your goals and your dreams? I'd love you to share this with us on social media. I'd love you to tag me so that I can give you some love back because real growth does happen when we step into our true selves and your experiences can inspire others to do the same. Please don't forget to let me know what you think of this podcast today. Please don't forget to review, to rate and to share this episode because your feedback really is invaluable. And by sharing your thoughts, you're helping us create more meaningful content that can help you unleash your brilliance and build the business of your goals and your dreams. Until next week, keep unleashing your brilliance and sharing your brilliance with the world.